And now what we have is four elements or levels of libertarianism. And in my claim, the anarcho-capitalist really rigidly, maniacally adheres to these, all three. And the other three, uh, in descending order, adhere to them, but less and less as we go down the list of libertarianism. But they're all libertarians. Right. Okay. So the, the next one below uh, anarcho-capitalist would be minarchism. And uh, by the way, the people most associated with anarcho-capitalism would be Murray Rothbard. He right. is the Mr. Libertarian of that um, level of libertarianism. The next level below would be mostly associated with people like Ayn Rand and Robert Nozick. And this is called minarchism, uh, minimal government libertarianism. And here, uh, there is a government justified. And anarcho-capitalists don't believe in government because government taxes people. And when did we agree to pay taxes? We never right. agree. I didn't even agree. And somehow they're taxing me. Uh, so uh, this violates a little bit the, um, the principles of libertarianism. And uh, here there is um, one legitimate task of government, and that is to protect the people against uh, murder, rape, theft, and all that. And to that end, there is a legitimate government which has only three uh, aspects. One aspect is armies, to keep foreign bad guys off of us, to make sure they don't invade our country. The next one would be police, to make local uh, rapists and, and murderers uh, behave, uh, right. capture them, uh, punish them. And the third would be courts, to determine who owns that headphone that you're wearing or exactly. right. uh, who is the good guy, who is the bad guy. The next level down I would call constitutionalism, and, and the, the person most associated with that in my mind is Ron Paul. Why is this a little lower? Because in the U.S. Constitution, in addition to armies, courts, and police, they allow uh, government roads and post offices and a few other things. But, uh, you know, uh, what the heck, it's very close. <laughs> and uh, then the, the next fourth level down would be um, classical liberalism. And the people most associated with that would be Milton Friedman and Friedrich Hayek, who are staunch free market tiers, but allow even more than armies, courts, and police, and, uh, po and roads, and, and uh, post offices. They allow a little bit of welfare, a teeny little bit, of not, not for everybody, but for really people who are uh, in trouble, you know, widows and orphans and people like that. And um, a, a little bit of um, uh, regulation, uh, very, very minimal regulation. And those are the four levels. And I would say of the four, uh, uh, of all people calling themselves libertarianism, uh, libertarians, 1% one, 1 would be anarcho-capitalists. And the other three would each have about 33%, <laughs> give or take. Right. And right. The people who mostly converted people to libertarianism would be Ayn Rand for my generation, Ron Paul maybe for your generation, uh, maybe Milton Friedman and, and Hayek for uh, your children or my grandchildren's age. Uh, so that would be the ballpark and, and the ball players of libertarianism. And that's where anarcho capitalism fits in with the other three levels. Hey everybody, this is Big John from Grumblings Media, and I just want to say thank you for watching our content. If you want to support our efforts here at Grumblings Media, just smash the subscribe button right here, totally free, or just go ahead and consume more of our great content. Click either one of these two boxes.